what is up everybody welcome back to another youtube video it has been a long time so in today's video we're going to be doing some cooking now before i get into the video and kind of talk about what's happening i do want to say if you do enjoy this video give this video a big thumbs up and check out some of my other videos and if you do enjoy my other videos consider subscribing as a staple of your support for this channel so guys recently there's been a lot of talk in the media about here good old george foreman okay and you can and I'll show you guys. You can grill on it. It's like a little, it's like a mini grill. It looks like that. And a lot of people have been cooking steak on this thing. And as you guys know, I love steak. So I'm like, you know what? I've never used one of these. So I picked one up at Walmart. They're like 20 bucks. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to get one for yourself. So we're going to cook some steak on this thing. See how it does. All right, you guys. So this is going to be trial and error. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I've never used this thing before. So I actually got some chicken to try it with too. Um, so I'll make another video for chicken, um, but for this time, we're going to be using my favorite food right here. Good old ribeye. But wait, I almost forgot. We have to get a thumbnail. Thumbnail time. <laughs> Alright, so here's how I make my steaks. Once again, it, this is how I do it. You don't have to do it the same way, nor am I suggesting that this is the proper way at all. First, I dry it. So you get all that off. Next step is a little bit of olive oil. Tiny bit. I prefer to use like a tool just works out a little bit better so I normally cook steak on like in the pan but I'm trying something else today and if you put a little bit too much you can just kind of see how that's kind of thick there you can kind of dab it up a little bit like that but the goal is to not add too much in the first place I am basically cleaning up all this this fat on the side just to make it look a bit neater okay that's okay and then this side right here just cutting off the fat bits just trying to shape it up There we go. Alright, so now, as I was going to do before, beef and brisket time. Tastes amazing. Alright, so once that is on, you're going to flip it over, do the exact same thing. This is what you guys want it to look like when you're done. Just like that covered like that. All right, so now, all right, you guys, so this is the butter that I use. And normally in the pan, when I cook it in the pan, I'll baste, I'll baste it, AKA like butter bath it. But since we're not gonna be cooking it in the pan, I'll place just a block of butter on top. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna get two thin slices of butter. I'm not sure if this is naturally non-stick. <laughs> so, and I don't have any cooking spray. So just in case it's not, we're gonna put a super tiny, the tiniest dab of olive oil here before, before we turn the George Foreman on and just kind of paint this whole entire thing. All right, you guys, the green light is on. That means we ready. So we're gonna open this up. Ho, ho, ho. A little bit of butter. And then close the lid. Pull this out. All right. 
we just You guys hear that? Oh man, that's gonna be great. All right, so we're gonna give it about two minutes. So two minutes, six six fifty three. Guys, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking. Look at that smoke. Look at that smoke. Smells good too, and the cleanup is gonna be a breeze. That's for sure. I hope this turns out good. All right, 6.53, so two minutes have passed. We're gonna open this up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Now we're just gonna... Bro, look at this. All right, guys, I'm hoping it turns out really well. Never used this grill. I've never used this seasoning, but we're cooking. So we'll see. All right, guys, so time is up. <laughs> time is up. Time is up. All right, um, I guess we just, just unplug it like that. I don't think there's like a technical off button. We have not tried it yet. However, when cooking steak, it's important to let it rest for about 10 minutes before you eat it. Because if you cut into it straight away, all the juices will turn, all the juices will flow out. You want the juices to be able to turn from a liquid into a solid. So we're gonna let it rest. I'm gonna put on a 10 minute timer on my phone. 10 minute timer, boom, 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, we will taste test it. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up um, so that as soon as I'm done cleaning, we can eat it. But let's give it a smell test first. Doesn't smell like incredibly magical, but it just smells, whoop, almost dropped it. <laughs> it, almost, it smells pretty much normal, just like a normal steak. So, anyways. Hope it tastes better than it looks, but who cares? All right, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up, and all the juices flow into here. So we have to clean this up. Is done. Would you look at that? Go get a paper towel. Hope oh, this is perfect, like I thought at the beginning. So first, I'm just gonna kind of cut this little nut off. I'll revisit that. Just kind of need to do a switcheroo. So shoot, shoot. just gonna. straight down the middle oh yes <laughs> that is that is like absolutely phenomenal guys that is medium rare if I've ever seen it that is absolutely phenomenal all right you guys so I hit ever I hit it with a little bit of a uh, sea salt they call it flaky salt so I hit it with a little flaky salt and uh, since I picked up this piece, I'll try, actually, well, this piece is on my right, so I'll try the piece on my right. And I'll move this out of the way so you guys can see, so you guys can see it. All right, guys, here it is. Like that. Fingers crossed, hope it's good. <laughs> really good. Oh my god, guys. Wait a minute. That is inc that is impressive.
guys, I'm prepared to say that this is probably the best steak that I've ever eaten. Like, better than, like, TGI Fridays. This is so good. So, so good, you guys. So I recommend, copy what I did in the video. Get a steak, get a ribeye, do, do exactly what I did in the video. And use the George Foreman. This is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. But this is incredible, guys. I, this, this piece of steak is, is probably the best I've ever cooked. This is incredible. This is a piece of artwork, you guys. <sighs> Alright guys, well before I just keep rambling on about how good that is, oh my god, I'm gonna make another one tomorrow. That is so good, you guys. Moving forward. So that I don't ramble on for days about how good that steak is. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the video off. I want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up and check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoy some of my, some of my other videos, consider subscribing to show your support for the channel. Uh, I do have some chicken in the fridge, so next video we'll try it with some chicken. See what we got, guys. So this is so good. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I'm going gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna to finish this. This is freaking incredible, you guys. Freaking incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this recipe a shot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And I'll go,